Knock, knock. Oh, I love these. Who's there? Well, you won't know unless you're following Voyage to the Stars on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can find us at VTTS Official on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can get all the info about the live shows, see exclusive character art, and so much more. I mean, so much more. But, like, honestly, it's worth it for the character art alone. There are some spectacular stuff oh. that we have that really puts the images in your head. It's it awesome. does. It does. Big talents, big talents involved in the art scene. And yet, at the same time, there's nothing spammy about it. No. It's not overwhelming. No. It's the exact right amount that you want onto your social media. It's absolutely true. We don't believe in inundating you with a bunch of garbaggio. That's right. That's right. So follow at VTTS official on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And you won't be sorry. You won't. I will be sorry. You're sorry, that's actually. Like but everyone else won't be you. Correct. That is being sorry. Thank you. Follow us. You won't be sorry. Uh, again, I will I be sorry. Yeah, I didn't mean to say that. Okay. Cut that part. Hey, I'm Steve Berg, and you're listening to Voyage to the Stars. This is a sci-fi comedy told through improvisation. What does that mean? Well, we have a framework to guide the story, but all the dialogue is completely improvised. So sit back and enjoy this unique voyage to the stars. Captain's Log, 1-800-999-9999. As you can imagine, I'm in a pretty dark place. For a while on the ship, I was riding high. I was the captain. Everyone listened to me and they respected me. I don't think that's ever been true. Then I met the woman of my dreams and we fell in love and had a long, fulfilling relationship. Also not true. And then it all came crashing down. Lost the woman. The crew, which once revered me, now Wrong. reviles me. Yes. It's a tough go. I guess at least I have you, sorry, to Remind you how wrong you are about 99% of what you just said? Yeah, but what about that 1%? Uh, well, sorry, uh, you know, I'm hoping that this next planet will have the answer that we're looking for and get us back to Earth and... You know, maybe then the crew can see that my intentions were always good. Captain, if I may, Mm -hmm. you once told me part of a folk tale involving a boy who cried wolf. Yes. If I might be so bold as to complete the ending for you. Okay. The little boy cried and cried and drowned everyone in the town. Mm -hmm. And then when he got back to his little hovel, he realized the answer he needed was inside him all the time. And all those people had died for no reason. So he had to, like, cut his belly open or something? In a sense, yes. Mm. What I'm suggesting is that you are looking externally for the answers when the true answer may lie within you. It may not be at this next planet. It may not be that we even get to the next planet. I may decide to kill all of you before we even go into orbit. Uh, So why not... Well, I'm really not kidding that time, but why not express your feelings to Elsa while you still have the chance? Oh, Stop tried. waiting for the next Sorry, thing. I've tried so many times. Well, don't do you it know, when the crew I mean, is disrespecting you. She's not going to take you seriously when everyone is mooning you as you stand on the bridge. Yes, that was quite a spectacle. She's not going to respect you when you walk into a room and everyone turns their back and makes farting noises. Mm, yes, Those I are not the times to express your love. So I guess what you're saying is even though she's made it clear that she's not interested in a relationship, I should keep pursuing her. I think worst case scenario, I find it very amusing when she rejects you. Well, you know what? I'm going to take that advice. You should. I'm going to tell her how I feel for the 14th or 15th time, and who knows, maybe I'll crack that little cookie. Oh, thanks for talking me up there, sorry. I really appreciate it. It's truly been my genuine pleasure. I'm on a one-way street to getting my crew and my lady back. To space, but further. Captain's log out. (laughs) 
Orion Sentry, anomalous ship, 44.1A. Why haven't we named this ship yet? I am just analyzing the dorsal deuteridium shell. They are intact and at full capacity right now. Lithium generators are A-OK -okay as well. I have uh, a couple of samples of some... Excuse me, science officer. Um, uh, Elsa, I was um, hoping that you could possibly uh, want to sit in on a meeting to strategize uh, on our next course of action once we reach the planet. Absolutely. I'd love to do a roundtable discussion. We'll include the other chief officers, and we will be on a completely professional level in the conference room, I assume. Uh, well, I was thinking more uh, we would uh, go to the holodeck and replicate a green mill. or uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an Italian restaurant. Isn't that where Leslie is with her blown-out bow? Uh, yeah, Leslie's a dishwasher in the hologram green mill. But um, I thought maybe we'd just sit down and, um, you know... You know, just kind of talk over stuff over. Maybe uh, some fettuccine Alfredo and a, a couple of candles. Did you ever see Lady in the Tram? I did, and I, like, I, I don't know how clear I could be, Captain. Captain Tucker, we had a hookup. I was desperate, I was drunk, and I wanted to see my life out with a little bit of flair. Okay, oh, that hey, is guys. Oh, What's... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. How, how are you doing? Did I interrupt a bang-out no, session? Nothing at all. I, uh, no. Was just sure, I can come back later. There was nothing nothing happening here. I was using the graphene phase infuser, uh -huh. and that is it. <laughs> Nobody sure. was infusing okay. anything else except Absolute. for the graphene phase. Whatever, Absolutely losers. Not. Anyway, I'm just here to tell you that Sari told me that our solar panels are in need of a little charge-up, so we're going to have to park ourselves by this planet to recharge them. Sorry, what was that planet called again? Adara. Adara. Adara, okay. Well, planet this is really Adara. interesting. Do we have any information on this planet in your not-so-functional memory banks? I have very little information, but it appears that everything on the planet is very attractive, beautiful. I can only assume it's safe. And what Stu said, we must go there for solar energy. Yep. Seems all seems to check out with me. Yeah. 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 Great. All right. Well, that'll give me a uh, opportunity to stretch my legs. I think I've been cooked up a little bit here. You deserve uh, it. Absolutely. You know, You've been uh, spinning the same drain over and over again. And I mm -hmm. think maybe just getting out of the drain hole and just moving on with your life. You know what? I got it. I got it. Okay. You don't love me. So what? Okay. I figured it out. I got it. Okay. Point taken. We get it. You don't want to love me. <sighs> Do you want Sorry and I to yeah. leave? Prepare so you the ship no, for landing. I think, I think he said it. Science entry out. Welcome to Stew Appetite. Sorry, we did it. You were very convincing. Thank you. They thank really you. bought the thing about needing more solar power. I mean, you would think the captain would know how much power he actually needed. What an idiot. I couldn't have been less surprised <laughs> that the captain didn't know something. Well, it's food time for you and I. I hear that there is this oil-based dressing that's very similar to a chimichurri called Lambanese. Wow, this is more information than I ever knew you to contain about dressings. Yeah, I saw in that magazine that was on the back of my bathroom thingy. Well, I don't know if I'll be partaking in the cuisine, per se, but I do have a lot of studying to do about these wonderful creatures. Well, I'd be happy to describe everything I'm tasting and experiencing while I'm eating it for you. I appreciate that. I can't wait to get down there. I'm just going to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. I'm interested to see what, in fact, the creatures on this planet look like, because my data banks don't have very much information. I don't know if I told you this, but my memory has been corrupted. I'm hoping to get a sense of what makes them so objectively wonderful and attractive, because I find it to be specific to each species. There's nothing objective about it. Interesting. For example, I don't understand even why some humans are attracted to one another, like Tucker and Elsa. Who saw that coming? Not me. Well, what you are attracted to is the subjective thing, you know? I mean, like, some people find someone with a great mind and... Some someone with a great mind and no body? Yeah, sure, you could find that very attractive. How interesting, asking for a friend. Yeah, no, it's like, you know, it's like if somebody, you just kind of click with them, they like what you like, or they don't like what you like, but you're learning from them and you can laugh with them. Laughter is important. It is very important. Someone you just kind of relax with, maybe play a game with. Would just you like to chill. quickly laugh together? I, we don't have time for that. Let's Anyways. laugh. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. That feels so forced. It doesn't feel real to me. Oh. oh, it seems we're ready to land. All right, well, do appetite. Out. Captain's log. 
Lollipop, lollipop. We're here on a new planet, and as always, something doesn't smell right here. Sure, it's beautiful. It's got mountains and there's clouds, and it smells like cinnamon, but something's not right. My crew is, well, the crew, I'll call them, because I don't want to attach myself to them. They seem a little ungrateful, especially my ex uh, she's been acting a little weird lately. Okay, first of all, you just put on your recorder that I'm your ex. Mm-hmm. There is no relationship here. And uh, second, we are on another planet. You yeah, can maybe focus taken. on new things. Seems like you're not, you can't let me go. I can't let go the fact that you can't let it go. That's correct. We need to let it go. We both need to just let it go. Let it go so I can let it go, please. Whatever. What's this vehicle that's approaching us? That looks like some kind of hovering device. Sorry, ready lasers. I don't think we're going to need those. I don't think you're going to need those either. Whoa, whoa, hello. Wow. Welcome to planet Adara. Mm. As in, wanna fuck? <laughs> wow. Jokes. Wow. I joke. <laughs> I kid. I couldn't help but overhear because I was listening. That you're new to this planet? Yes, we're from uh, Earth. And we're stopping here to recharge some of our batteries, and we don't want any trouble. Oh, well, I certainly don't have trouble to give you, Mr. Your name? My name is Tucker. Ooh. Captain Tucker. As in, what a fuck? What? Whoa. Jokes, I kid. My name is Siflead. This is my planet. Hmm. As you can see, everything here is beautiful. And you, you look hungry. Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> yeah. I'm right here, too. Thanks. And you, you look sexy. Me? Yes. Wow. Well, I guess uh, this race of aliens has better eyesight than us. No, I would think that maybe in comparison to... Just a second. Took the words right out of my mouth, alien. Yes. You know, I have to say, while everything on this planet is beautiful and lovely and perfect, it's not that we all are. Actually, I... I kid, we all are beautiful, lovely, wow. and perfect. And humble. Keeps making noises. I that, like that's her. That's the problem with her. You. Yes. I love those cheekbones. Oh, oh these Mark? guys? Yeah. Wow. So firm and strong. Mm. You are able to detect cheekbones through all that? And that hair. Ooh. Such a close shave. Well, I try to keep it standard. Me too. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are we laughing about? So... <laughs> you look hungry. Yeah. All of you. Uh huh. I'm not hungry. I I'm don't experience hungry. hunger. Uh, would you like to join me in the castle? Oh, I could go for a nosh. Not you. Okay. Or you, okay. Tucker. Yes. Would you like to join me in the castle for a feast? Oh, I suppose I okay. could. I need to talk to Tucker just a little bit. Could just I... on the side here. Tucker, just, I'm going to pull him over on? here. No, go ahead, it's fine. What's talk, going on? Talk to him I'll... about your lovely willowy limbs and stuff. Blech. They okay. are willowy. Would yeah. it be possible to get a to-go box of some of your local cuisine? Over here now, right now. Hey, you cannot go alone with her. This is a trap. It's obviously a trap. Why are you not suspicious right now? Wow, you are so jelly. What? what? Jealous. I believe the word is. Are you... This is a aside, miss, okay? I can't help it. My willowy ears Mi- overheard you. Miss Syphilis, go back over there, please. I'm just having an aside. Please cl- plug your ear holes. This is not... A, you cannot be buying this. She's clearly a succubus of some kind or or, oh. or just a... Uh, don't even look at me why, like I'm jealous. Why can't you let me be happy, huh? I As part of you. this aside, I just want to say you do seem very jealous. I am not Thank jealous. You, I am pointing out a logical flaw. He wants to kill everything he sees that is alien. Why would you trust this woman? Elsa, is it possible you feel envy not just of your lover, Tucker, being paid attention to by a beautiful alien woman, but also just the perfection of this planet itself? I do have a little information about it in my databanks, and it would appear that everyone on this planet is incredibly smart and has completed all of their degrees well, and has right found a way to... Oh. Make the most of their intelligence while not letting their insecurities get in their own way. Is this still an aside? Because you're all talking. Come on in. Oh, okay. we'll have an inside? I'm, yeah. you know what? I'm just, uh, 
cautioning our captain that uh, we have a lot of valuable things on board and in our heads, and he needs to I'm be wary. I'm sorry, this is my ex-girlfriend, and sometimes she gets a little jelly when... What's the status on that doggy bag? Is that happening, or... I'll see if I can find you something. Okay, then. I'll find you something. Wonderful. Tucker. Uh, the way you say his name is Tucker? so suggestive. It's Tucker. I'm simply just saying Tucker. No, All it's... right, the rest of you crew, you guys stay here at, okay. uh, at the away ship and await my orders. Great. I'm going to go... With me. With, Into yes. the trap with the syphilis. It's not a trap yet. See? What? She it's said it's not to... a trap. Okay, well, that makes me sort of think it is one. Well... Please. When it becomes a trap, I will let you know. But right now, I'm go. simply greeting you, See? dissing her, and falling in love now, with the That sounds like honesty to me. Well, I'm good. We'll be here. Just go at it. Have fun. All but right. remember I'm not the, jealous. the to-go box, please, because I am yeah, I got peckish. You. Remember, I'm not jealous. You do what you need to do. Oh, oh, we will. All right, so here I go into the castle with this new alien species that seems very wise and smart. To space... And further, Captain O. Science entry Adara 82.1A Butthole. Well, we are in orbit while our captain is having a party. It's inappropriate, just on a professional level, to abandon his crew and to just walk into a situation there where we have no control over his safety or people fawning over him inappropriately. I don't know. Someone's jelly. What? You do sound pretty jealous. What are you talking about? I don't know. I mean, look, I, I, I hear you, because why was she so into Tucker? I mean, I was I mean, standing she right was there. was all over him. It was so, I mean, she was slithering on him. And granted, she is attractive. She has Very. a limbs akimbo, and she had uh, a soft, beautiful skin that looked like a Satin and coverlet. T- Tucker of all people, he's so broy. He's so I know. douchey. Like, I why, know. What, 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 what could be attractive about him? I would disagree. I you were the one a, who hooked a, up with him. Why? No. What? What? What is? He is about a him? specimen who is adequate in every way, and he has a kindness that's slightly endearing. Okay. Ooh, oh. adequate, hot. Okay. Listen, I am concerned as a subordinate officer for the person who our lives are in his hands. Jelly. I'm not jealous. It was a one-time hookup. Okay. Jelly. Look, I didn't get to try any of the food. There were supposed to be these amazing casseroles with this lambanese sauce I keep on talking about. And I, have, I don't have any in front of me. This he is... didn't even look at me when he left. I'm getting an urgent message. message from the bridge. What? I want the urgent. food, man. Transmitting message. I want the food. This Transmitting sucks. urgent message. Hey, we need to listen to the message. urgent message. Jelly. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? We're just going to totally be up jelly. here running the ship, holding down the fort, while he becomes drunken, intoxicated, and or seduced by strange, lovely, willowy, tall, lithe, fairy-like, elfin, gorgeous aliens. Stu, when we get down there, hopefully yeah. you'll be able to eat a sandwich of peanut butter and jelly. Science entry out. Captain's log, shimmy shimmy, Cocoa Puff. So here I am uh, in the palace. It is amazing here. Just a beautiful, large structure, almost built out of light. And the creatures, wow, I must say, I have seen beautiful creatures before, but these are the most beautiful. And I have a question, though. I noticed they're all women. Uh, uh, Where are the men here? Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, men are so strong and smart. They're off doing men work. Hmm. Naturally. Oh, you're so wonderful to ask that question. I see you've finished your fourth course of unguai. This unguai is delicious. I have no idea what it is, but uh, I can't stop eating it. it <laughs> if so I told good. you, I'd have to kill you. Oh, <laughs> well, then don't tell <laughs> Let me. Let me tell. Okay, I won't tell you. Listen, I couldn't help but overhear your captain's log because you're saying it right next to me. Sure. Is that like something you flush or? Um, the captain's log. Yes. <laughs> No, uh, this is more of a recording for the future generations so that they Speaking can... Speaking of future generations... Yes. How about you stay a little longer? Well, you know, I, uh... We were on our way to another planet, It is just it's... that you're so exquisitely, gorgeously perfect and beautiful that... That's very nice of you to say. You belong here, yes? 
Well, I definitely do feel a kinship with this place for some reason. I'm not sure why, but uh, ever since I walked in, I felt like this is where I need to be. This is where you need to be. You know, I... I'm a humble man. You're a humble man. All I want to do is... Dance, dance, dance the night away. Hold me in your arms until the break of break of day. I mean, I'm sure I do a little bit of that. Well, then I'm... you're ready for the next course. Whoa. Bring in the Heidol. You'll love this. It's made from the... Heidol. The way you question me. So sexy. Ooh. You do have the word sexy on your planet, don't oh, you? Oh, we, yes, definitely. I know what you mean. It's probably your middle name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I flirt. Not, no. Oh, oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. This is very delicious. Yes. Wow. Yes, I made it myself. I'm a cooker, you know. Oh, a cooker. Yes. We call them chefs. That's nice. You know, you're you know, so it... much sexier when you're just looking at me. Oh. Yes. Okay. It, it's not that I don't like your voice. It's just that I don't need it right now. Be quieter. You know, later when this becomes a trap, which it is not right now, we're mm -hmm. simply just eating a meal. I appreciate that candor. Later, I might ask you to say something. Okay. Like, you'll be my man forever. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> You're playing hard to get, huh? Just hard, basically. Well, I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, your punnery. Yeah, well, look, I gotta finish up this food because it smells too good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to dive into here and you know what? Don't worry about the rest of the crew. I think we might be able to hang out here for a little while longer. Oh, they're fine. Yeah. If they become a problem, I'll just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. are hilarious. No, I'm not kidding. Space, but further. Captain's log out. Welcome to a frothy, ice-cold mug of artisanal stew. Oh my god, this is something else, huh? It's so surprising that they express so much interest in Tucker. Yeah, I I have to tell you that bothers me. Because I was standing right there. Not that like I, I want to be in his position, I'm just saying, why Tucker over Stu? It doesn't make much sense to me. You know, it does sound, Stu, as if you felt attraction towards those female aliens and felt left out when you weren't picked. I, I mean, look, they're not really my type, honestly. It's what not is really your what type? I go. Uh, well, someone I can laugh with, obviously. Um, someone I can confide to and just kind of, like, let all my feelings out. But they don't judge me, but they're interested. And someone who doesn't get in my way physically, who's not always in front of my face saying, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, or pushing me and prodding me or crowding me. It's just... But I do like someone to laugh with. Boy, I'm really picking up what you're putting down. Huh, Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I doubt there's someone out there for me. Wait, what? Hold uh, on, I thought... I mean, I, I look, I, I mean... Because I'm, when you were describing your... That's my dream girl, obviously. Oh. I don't think a girl like that actually exists, so... Probably not. Probably alone forever, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go get me a sandwich in the mess hall. Want anything? No, I'm good. I'm just going to keep thinking about how this conversation went exactly how I would have wanted it to. Right on. All right, well, stew brew out. Captain's log, ding, 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 goes the trolley. <laughs> wow, that was a wonderful dinner, Sophie. Thank I you so much. I know it was. Yes. And, uh, oh gosh, the sunset. It, it seems like the sunset's been going on for like two hours. Is that it's normal here? It's a very long sunset. Wow, it's, a it's beautiful. Four hour sunset followed by an eight hour sunrise. Oh, hmm. This yes. orbit must be unbelievable. Uh, absolutely. You know, I couldn't help but notice that your words are slinging together. I think I might be a little drunk off that dling -ling. Well, I think it's then the perfect time for me to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I want you to be my king. Oh, Sylvie. I want you to stay here. Marry well, me. Just me and you and all king. of the, everyone else that lives here. We can live like kings and queens. Like your people did back in Africa oh. before they were stolen, right? Shh. Sure. Yes. Huh. Oh, only, I won't enslave you. Actually, that's not true. I might. Later. But for right now, I'm simply asking you to stay here and be my man. <sighs> that sounds I like a to yes. Be. Well, yes. Sylphie and I, I must be honest with you. My heart is in the stars. 
Uh, that's where my ship is. But what is a captain without a crew? And right now, the well, the crew doesn't seem to respect me anymore. I'll tell you what a captain without a crew is. My king. I'll build you another crew if you'd like one. I, I can make the, the, the little girl who loves you and, and the guy who wants food and that other thing. Well, I don't know. You know, it's a tough decision because on the one hand, I do want to be a king. And, I mean, you're beautiful. I would love to That's two spend... hands. And on the third hand? Well, if on the third hand, I, I want to be the captain of the ship. and On the fourth hand? And on the fourth hand, even though the crew is upset with me, I still feel responsible to get them back to Earth. On the fifth, I, we're going to go up through all my hands here, so I, I hope you're ready. You've got a lot of hands. Yeah, oh, I do. But you know what I don't have here in this room is a king. Get. Mm-hmm. Will you marry me? <sighs> I'll have to think about it. That sounds like a yes. Well, it's not quite a yes yet. I'm. I need to think about it. I need Speaking to ponder. Of which, let me ask you a riddle. Mm, okay. What has eighteen arms and is in love with you? Uh, me. I love that one. Didn't give me a chance to answer. Okay, here's another one. What has 18 arms and would love to have you inside of me? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I know where this one... Okay, see, I didn't even get a chance. Sorry, I I love riddles and answering riddles. You're good at them. I am. Really, really good riddles. Okay, what has two arms, two legs, and won't be leaving this room? Okay, I got this one. You. No, no. No, you. I. Oh, Oh, me. (laughs) <laughs> I thought I saw a pattern. I wanted to get ahead Kiss of it. Kiss one but, of my lips. Uh, I'll pick this one. Mm. Oh boy, this is going to be a tough one. This is, this is a tough choice. To space, but further. Or maybe staying here. Captain's log out. Science entry 82.2A. We have been trying to hail the captain for, oh, about... Six hours now. Just wondering, you know, where is our captain? What is he doing? What's he doing with those women? We should maybe go down? I don't know. No. He's a big boy. He could do what he wants. It's fine. Right? Right, sorry? Right, Stu? I wouldn't call him that big of a boy. I mean, he's husky. That's true. Yeah, I mean... I mean, just in in the right areas, right? Oh, God. Oh, well. I have not looked into his private region. I wasn't talking about That's that. That's clearly what you were talking about. Tucker is not Stu's type. Nor are you Stu's type. That's hey, true. what's up? No, I'm, I'm the not, alien I'm Stu's not type. anybody's type, okay? Hey! Hey, dorks. <laughs> I'm back. Wow, okay. Well, dish it, man. Oh, what's going on? You guys, it is awesome down there. Uh, I just had the best meal I have ever had. What? Very sated. And you know what? I totally forgot your doggy bag. Man. What? Totally forgot it. I ate it on the way up. My bad. My so bad. you remembered it, but then you decided to eat it. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got so it. I did remember it. I just I ate it. Oh, dude. Okay. Hey, you know what? They love me down there. I'm not going to lie to you. It is good times. How you guys doing up here? Elsa. Is everything cool? Sure sounds like they love him down there. I am so happy for him. We are fine up here. By the way, we've been running the ship like clockwork. It's like a well, more well-oiled machine up here without you even here. And it's so nice that you're having uh-huh. a great time with your friends, your new friends, your new you know, adorable, attractive friends. You know, it would be great for once I could just come home and like not get into a fight. That would be nice. Okay, I... I don't want to be uh, accusatory, but this is clearly a trap. There was no what are you talking motiv- about. There was no motivation for her to suddenly just come on to you, complimenting your cheekbones and your other things on Maybe your body. Maybe because she likes my cheekbones. Nobody. Maybe she likes the other things on my body. She's not ashamed to say that she likes it like other people. These people have an agenda, and she's yeah. too smooth. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know what? If there was a trap, I would know about it. You I suspect a trap every single other time, and suddenly there's no trap oh, here because boy. she's. You know what? This is so, it's so clear what's happening here. What is clear? It's so crystal clear. What's clear? What's going on here. You're just jealous. Oh. And you can't stand that there is a whole planet of people down there. That's very true. You're not right. You're not right. Why are you agreeing with him? Because it's just true. I mean, like, it's obvious. Thank you. You can spread your seed wherever you want. You can milk your monkey on any planet you want, I just don't want you in danger, okay? As my captain. You know, I'm feeling a lot of disrespect in here. Well, I'm yeah. Feeling a lot of disrespect. Yeah, my doggy bag, man. You're shirking oh, your responsibilities, wow. and you're not being a very good friend right now. You guys have no idea how much I sacrificed for us. I've oh. sacrificed 
everything for this crew every day, and you guys treat me like dirt. You know who doesn't treat me like dirt? Sylphid? Are yeah, you Sylphid. drunk right now? Yeah, I'm drunk. Yeah, I'm drunk. So, uh, well, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm let's drunk, go. blah, blah, blah. Let's take off. Take, yeah. Let's take off. We're well, done with on. the planet. Before you guys take off, why don't you guys let me out, because I'm done. What are you talking about? We I'm are Let them off, fine. No, you know what? They, they actually asked me to stay down there, because I'm going to be a king. What? I'm leaving this ship. You get to be a king? Yeah, I get to be a king. How am I not in contention for this? It's not a, it's not a beauty pageant. I don't want to be down there, but I feel like I should be in the running at least. What a dumb planet. They want me to be a king. And you know what I said? I said, you know what? No. I got a crew. But it turns out I don't have a crew. You guys got a crew. A bad at a crude. May you I try something? That's not That's a word. It's not a word. Pun. Yeah. I just wanted to say we can accrue some hostility. That was See? actually pretty good. That's good. That's that a real bad. word. Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, he did. Thank you. Sorry. I that. So you know what? <sighs> I'm done. I'm not the captain anymore. You guys can find yourselves a new captain to shit on all day long. I'm going to stay here on this planet and eat great food and get hand jobs, multiple hand jobs. Is that what you got during dinner? That's so unsanitary. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm fine with it. I'm cool with it. I'm comfortable in my own skin. So I'm going to go down there. I'm going to be treated nicely for once. Good. Stay down there and get your wiener worked on and enjoy all this delicious food. We don't need you, man. Yeah. Captain Tucker, are you abdicating your responsibilities as captain? Yeah, sorry. Officially, I am no longer the captain of this ship. We Then we need to appoint a new captain. I don't I'm care not who doing it. Doing. I'll do it. I'll Fine. do it. I'm going to step up and do it. I don't want it, but I'm going to do it because somebody you has to be what? responsible. My last order is captain. I'm going to make you captain. I don't. I was already captain before you ordered well, it because you had already just said remember, you weren't captain. Just remember that where you got it from. Just remember who made you who you are today. Go uh, have your aperitifs. And, and your other. hand jobs. I will. Whatever. Captain Elsa? Yes, I'm Captain Elsa. I just wanted to establish that our dynamic will not be changing, even though you have been assigned captain. I never would have assumed that you would respect me or treat me like an equal or somebody you like at all. all Thank right. you for respecting my lack of respect. Okay, great. Good. Let's well, just, you're the captain, but I think we should just take off. We can always pick him up later if we want gone. to. He's gone. He just left. He would have. He didn't even say goodbye. He just like, Well, Peace. look at him walk off like this. Just look. Bye. Stumble hey, like guys, a drunken fool. I got one more little special present for you. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, what are you... That's... Oh, no, he didn't. Was I funny, Stu? You are, you nailed it. Did I make you laugh, Stu? A plus, kid. All right. Science entry out. Voyage to the Stars was partially improvised by and stars Steve Berg as Stu Merkel, Felicia Day as Science Officer Elsa Rankford, Colton Dunn as Captain Tucker Lentz, and Janet Varney as Sorry, the AI. With special guest Naima Funk as Sylphite. Voyage to the Stars was created by Ryan Koppel and produced by Morgan Kruger, Ryan Koppel, and Janet Varney. All dialogue was recorded by Stephen Ray Morris at Starburn Studios. Story producing and editing provided by David Burgess. The coordinating producer is Josh Richman. The supervising editor is Brett Morris. Sound designed by Ryan Connor and Devin Torrey Bryant and title theme composed by Brett Morris. Voyage to the Stars is a production of Madison Wells Media in association with Earwolf and Stitcher. You can listen to ad-free new episodes of Voyage to the Stars, plus exclusive bonus episodes only on Stitcher Premium. For a free month trial, go to stitcherpremium.com and use the promo code VOYAGE. 